Uh, I'd like to talk today about uh, skin lesions and when or if they need to be removed. So a skin lesion uh, can be a pigmented or coloured um, spot on the skin, commonly known as moles. And sometimes we need to remove them if those moles are changing in colour or size. Other skin lesions are actually lumps that you can feel in or just under the skin. The commonest types of these are sebaceous cysts, which are little blocked oil or sweat glands, uh, or a lipoma, which is a fatty lump, um, which is an overgrowth of normal fat cells. The sebaceous cysts and lipomas are not harmful, but can be uh, unsightly uh, and sometimes in prominent places like over the forearm where they may be knocked and that can make them tender or painful and sometimes patients would like them removed for that reason. Most skin lesions are not harmful, but occasionally moles can be cancerous and they need to be removed uh, to cure the condition or to ensure that they're not cancerous. Sebaceous cysts can get infected from time to time and therefore if they're in a prominent part or have been infected we like to remove them. The vast majority of skin lesions are removed under a local anaesthetic which is an injection under the skin around the lesion. It's quite painless apart from the first few seconds where it can sting then everything goes numb and following that you should feel no pain whatsoever. There may be slight pressure sensations however. We usually make a single incision over lump and remove it, suturing the defect closed with dissolving stitches so there's no need to return for stitch removal. Any lesion that we do remove from the skin we usually send off to the lab to make sure it's completely benign and harmless and to reassure that nothing more needs doing. The risks of removing a skin lesion are actually very small. Wound infections can occur with any slight procedure, but these are extremely uncommon as it's clean surgery done under a sterile conditions. Majority of these things are done in the, low, in the outpatient clinic. Uh, we're just walking in, having it done, walking out, having a cup of coffee or tea, just checking you're all right for 15 minutes and then leaving. The local anaesthetic will wear off after about an hour. Uh, for the majority of patients, nothing more needs doing, but perhaps you might want to take some paracetamol or Nurofen uh, for a day or so. In terms of preparation for removing a skin lesion, you'll have seen a consultant beforehand who will describe what's going on and make a planned time and a date for you to be booked into the minor operations room at your local hospital. There's no need to starve or uh, avoid fluids and you walk in, as I said, and walk out about 15 minutes later. Afterwards, occasionally the scar can become itchy and irritable, uh, but that should settle after a couple of weeks. There is a condition called keloid scarring where you get an overgrowth of the scar tissue and can be unsightly. If that occurs, we would need to see you again and give some uh, steroid cream or occasionally a local uh, injection of steroids just to re reduce the overhealing full we'll stop. This condition of keloid is extremely uncommon, however, uh, but can occur if the lesion is in the midline, perhaps over the breastbone or over the head and neck area. For the vast majority of patients, however, the wound heals very nicely and nothing more needs doing apart from the reassurance that all is well.